Hey guys, welcome. So today it's uh, a little bit different than I had in mind. Um, I was supposed to go to a different city in the Czech Republic. However, as you maybe can see, the weather is uh, pretty terrible. Um, it's been raining now for the last few days and it doesn't look any better for next week. So yes, we are allowed to travel finally again to different cities because they eased up the lockdown just a little bit. Um, so what I'm gonna do today is there's apparently a big monument for um, the World War I monument, I think, um, up a big hill. So I'm going there just to show you guys at least something for today. And let's see where we can go. So luckily I am now walking downhill, but I'm afraid that, will, that that will be for a very short term. That I will eventually have to walk uphill. Let us see where we have to go. So one thing that you might uh, see a lot actually in Prague are these cobblestones. Now they do look nice, however these in this weather conditions are basically a dead trap because they are extremely slippery and definitely winter. So if you go downhill, yeah. So like I said earlier, it's a lot colder than the last video because in the last video it was around 12 o'clock but then it was 21 degrees already. Now it's 10 in the morning uh, and I think it's around three degrees which comes down to like 38 Fahrenheit I believe um, so it's rather cold um, but this is the only time that they predicted it would not rain much so that's why I went out this early to be able to at least shoot a decent video for you guys so let us go you can already see the hill and um, yeah, the downside is actually that over the last few videos it has been this kind of weather so Prague does look very grim in this weather condition but well the only thing that we can do is hope that the better weather will turn out to be better soon so let's see of course when it's sunny everything looks nicer right so okay Across the street here. Still, one of the downsides is that even though the restrictions regarding the lockdown has been eased up a little bit, still all the stores and restaurants are closed. You can still get your coffee, of course, but you cannot sit inside. You just basically have to take your coffee outside. But nothing we can do about that. All right. And now we have to walk a lot of stairs. A lot. Decent amount of stairs, I think. So this is your free fitness in Prague during the day. All right, no idea where I'm going but uphill it is oh this is such a climb early in the morning well early a little bit early 
definitely uh, I just basically rolled out of bed and moved here no breakfast no coffee some exercise the good thing is at least I'm not cold so we still have to climb up I think a decent amount so the view is getting a lot better this is something you do, you do see quite often here in Prague is that there's so many parks you know yes Prague is all concrete but there are so many parks everywhere where you can just enjoy definitely if the weather is better so that's a very nice thing so as you can see the view is getting better all the way in the distance is the Zizkov Tower they also call it the baby tower because on the side they're basically sort of statues of babies climbing up the tower now if you do have some money to spare and you want to impress the missus then you can stay there at night up in the tower they have very luxurious rooms but you pay around 400 euros for it so it's like 450 dollars so yeah it's quite a lot of money so we made it on top of the hill so behind this building there's a monument and the monument is a reminder of World War One. Now, the interesting fact about this is this building here has been here for a long time. And during World War II, the Germans actually used this as a weapons depot. Now, it is kind of funny when you think about it that they have a monument about World War I and then literally store here the weapons for World War II that's some creativity if you ask me let's hope that we're allowed to film here too don't know that But then, I guess so. He was uh, looking quite mean at me for just a second, so. But good, he didn't say anything. So, the downside about this area is at the moment that there are quite a lot of puddles because it's been raining for some days now. And I wear lovely shoes that unfortunately seem to have a hole in them on the bottom. So basically with every step, it sucks up the water right in my shoes. Should have thought about that when I left the house. But uh, see what I'm going through for you guys to film this. So to help me with my struggle, <laughs> hit the subscribe button for more videos definitely in the future all right check it check it out can we also go up there yes we can but so go from here This is all empty, of course. Don't know what it's supposed to be. Uh, it's part of the National Museum. Fortunately, everything is closed already for several months. No end in sight. I hope to be able to travel soon again outside of the Czech Republic, but Nobody knows how long that will take actually.
Hopefully you can still hear me because it's quite windy on top of here. Wow, never been here myself, but it looks pretty amazing. Look at that. Let's see if we can get a, get a better angle. Also, so quiet right now. Unbelievable. All right. So, this is uh, Witkov Park and the monument. It's, I would say, quite literally in the middle of Prague. So, it's a big hill. You cannot miss it. You can see it from everywhere. And I used to live quite near this place. I always saw it up the distance, up the hill, but never actually went. So there's even for me, who's been now in Prague for multiple years, always something new to discover when you actually start looking it up. Right, check the view. view it is fantastic all right Let's see what we can explore more. So this is either going to be a very long and boring video or let's hope that something still happens, something spectacular. I highly doubt it though, but I'm going to think where I can go with you guys right now. There are some parks, but I don't want to overload all my videos with parks because yeah, they are nice, but you know, a park is a park. I know I'll probably get a lot of hate for that comment, but it's true. You know, they're, they're awesome and it's really nice to have parks in the middle of the city, but... Well, parks always better with friends than beer, I think. Alright, so let's go. And we're continuing our small journey in my shoes that are totally wet, wet socks, but hey. All right, let's continue. So if I see something nice, I'll start recording again. For now, I'll just stop. And uh, let's see where we can go. It seems that the way down is not always the best. You know, sometimes it can be even worse than going up. Definitely here. So imagine this, you see these stairs? It's wet, slippery. Ah, fantastic. Well, there we go. Let's see if I can make it down in one piece. Yes, it is quite slippery actually. Well, if the older lady could do it, then I should be able to. Famous last words, of course. Alright. And we will continue. Ooh, there's a hostel. It looks like it's open, which is quite amazing actually, because most places should be closed. That's also the downside of uh, me wanting to travel to a different city. There are cities here that are quite far away. That means they're near the Slovakian border or near the German border. Uh, public transport is decent that way. Uh, not by train, but you go by bus. The only downside is that sometimes it can take up to three, three and a half hours, maybe even four hours to get there. And if you can only do it within one day because all the hotels are closed, yeah, that's kind of, well, 
wouldn't say I'll call it a struggle, but you know, that gives me less time to actually shoot something like a video for you guys. Um, but we'll see what I'm gonna do in the next few weeks. I will definitely go somewhere because, uh, well, my video was not supposed to be all about Prague only. And um, I still hope that there will be more. So definitely stay tuned for that. So a bit earlier in the video, I talked about the Zhiskov Tower or what they call the baby tower. And I showed you from a very, very far distance. So I don't think you could actually see the babies crawling up in the tower. So I decided just to walk there. And here you go, guys. Check it out. So basically alongside the entire tower, there are these baby statues or sculptures climbing up there. I don't know what I should think about it. Is it interesting? Definitely. Is it pretty? Don't know. <laughs> anyway, so what I said to you earlier, that you can actually sleep in one of those um, parts of the building. So you can, I can only imagine the view that you can see from there, definitely in the evening. So if you have money to spend and you want to impress the missus, the place to go, definitely. However, I just started to think about something. What if, just what if, there's no elevator and the missus has to climb up all these stairs? I don't think she will be uh, very much amused. So maybe look it up if there's actually an elevator, yes or no. All right, <laughs> let's move on. Hey guys, I'm currently at Namestimiru metro station, or at least very close by. This is where I'm gonna end the video. Uh, we walked around pretty much starting to rain again um, I'm still gonna show you the metro station because I believe that this is the longest metro escalator here in Prague so that's where I will end so hopefully see you guys next time later a not so impressive metro station.